Yesterday, I completed Secrets of the North and took on the new boss, the Phantom Musper. Today, we're going to be taking down 100 of the new boss and checking out some of the new rewards from their drops. So I didn't actually realize here that the boss respawns if you stand in the room for long enough and ended up dying. This is my first death to the boss. 500k to get my shit back. I'm not happy. 36 kills down. Another trip. Ancient Essence, Gold or Death Runes. Really good players will be able to increase the kill, like, uh, kill speed by a lot. Ancient Icon? Hell yeah! The drops are outraged. Ah! Del 46, another dragon plate skirt. Very juicy. Have a look at this trip. This is actually insane. One mil loot. Kill 49, six torstal seeds. They're worth absolutely nothing anymore because everything drops them. 52 down, more dragon bolts. Number 55, more molten glass. A Venator shard! Yeah! They're going for seven. Oh man. That's disappointing. Seven and a half. Okay. 69 kills. Iron men no longer have to make cannonballs. 72 down for some more soul runes. New PB on 76. One minute 50 seconds. A frozen cache! 591 ancient essences inside. Damn, that was so cool, man. A frozen cache! All right. Let's hope we get a frozen cache from this frozen cache. You ready? Right. 91 down, three rune card shields, some out of your. <laughs> 6.1 mil. A frozen cache. These things stink, bro. 97, 21 water orbs. And that is kill number 100 for a supply drop, which we will not be using to kill more of the boss because I am done here. So this is all the loot that I managed to get from those 100 kills at the new boss. Quite a bit of money, 12.1 mil. I reckon you could probably get around 20 to 30 kills per hour here if you're in max gear. So it'll come out to like 4 mil an hour without any of the unique drops. But like, this is just Iron Man City. 24 Torstal Seeds, 72 Ranar Seeds, some Maple Seeds, some Palm Tree Seeds. 800 dragon bolts unfinished, like you've got lots of ores, you've got food for supplies, you have water orbs, a bunch of alkaballs, 152 grimy snapdragons. There's 152 super restores. 86 toad flax for the brews as well, some lantern diamonds and dwarf weeds, two and a half thousand cannonballs, which is absolutely insane to me. Antique planks and some molten glass. This is gonna be a pretty nice mid-level boss for Iron Man at the moment with this drop table. It's pretty stupid. So pretty good for Iron Man, but in terms of raw GP, we made 11 mil. Don't forget, we had to use a lot of supplies for this as well. And I was supposed to get 77,000 of this Ancient Essence, but I've been selling it off as I go because... I mean, they're never going to be this high again. Sold them for 150 each there, but we sold a bunch a while back for a little bit higher than that. So I made approximately 13 mil off those two Venator shards, and we also managed to get ourselves the Ancient Icon. So all in all, a pretty easy boss, relatively good mechanics. I think it's got a great skill gap for mid-tier players compared to high-tier campers. I think it's well-designed. Let's go test out the new rewards. We copped the Venator bow for 39.8 mil, and I've just sold off all the shards. I'm such a moron. I literally need to buy all of these back. And I believe we just use these to charge it up. 10,000 charges in the boat. Beautiful. It's a two-hander bow? <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Why have I just said that? Every bow is two-handed. What is wrong with me? All right. We just have to have a chat to Eblis here. And I believe he will make an upgraded star for us. I'm literally in the middle of recording a clip right oh, now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. And there we go. Eblis has upgraded our ancient staff into an ancient scepter. Let's go test these bad boys out. Okay, so this is a side-by-side -side of the Ice Barrage spell before and after the staff. The left is without the staff and the right is with the staff. You can see there is a small difference in terms of freeze time. Next up is the Smoke Barrage spell. Now, without the staff, with Smoke Barrage, you'll do four poison damage to your opponent. But with the staff, you will do five damage to your opponent. Then for the Shadow Barrage, without the staff, you will take your opponent from 99 to 89 attack, but with the staff, you will make your opponent go to 88 attack. And last, but most certainly not least, without the staff and a blood barrage in max gear, 
with a max hit, you'll go from 50 to 59 hit points with a blood barrage. However, with the staff, you will go from 50 to 59 hit points with a max hit with a blood barrage. This thing is literally fucking useless. Now for the Venator bow, I couldn't really think of any use cases for it. I'm sure there's some really niche ones out there, but the only thing I could think of, thanks to my good friend Maz, was AFK Slayer. Thanks to the fact that it will aggro multiple targets, you can just technically sit here and AFK for 20 minutes before your character stops attacking. And in max gear with dragon arrows, the XP is like 125, K an hour here at Bloodvelds. So realistically, I have no idea where this bow is going to be used, if it's going to be used at all. It's got a max hit of 38 in max gear, but I will say it does look very cool. So that is all the rewards from the new boss, the Venator bow, which is practically useless. The new Ancient Scepter, which is practically useless. And the only thing we will see used, which is the new Saturated Heart, which takes your magic up to 112, gives you some more max hits. All in all, the boss is very fun. However, the rewards are lacking. And this is what happens when you let the community decide via poll what should be added into the game. Don't forget to subscribe to the fucking channel.